Welcome back! We have just completed um, the Brewing a Storm spell, which, um, uh, like the Turn into a Fly or an Eagle spell, is another spell that requires an incantation to work. You have to uh, stir the storm brew with your finger and then say the words Brew of Storms, churn it up to start the storm. You can do this anywhere, I think. Um, but there's only one particular place, of course, where you need to do it in order to win the game. And you can only do it once, if I'm not mistaken. We have one spell left, Becoming Invisible, which sounds like a really um, useful spell, except that unlike the Invisibility Ring in uh, King's Quest 1, this one has a rather strict requirement. And it says that it only works in a place where there's both fire and mist. Which... Um, Rules out any place we've seen so thus far. Nevertheless, let's complete that spell, and then we will we'll be done with the spells, and we are ready to defeat the wizard. Question is, then what? Oh, well, you'll see. Oh, the brazier has burned all the charcoal and is now cool. Um, I don't think we need the brazier anymore, no. So, who cares? And this one is on page 169. Turn the page CL... Oh, CLXIX. Clicks, I guess. Uh, with trembling hands, you turn the pages of the Sorcery of Old and prepare to follow its instructions precisely. You know you must work with the utmost care. Indeed, we do. Because we've seen that message a lot of times by now. Cuts... Cactus with knife. Using your kitchen carving knife, you cut a gash in the small cactus. Juice begins to drip. And I'm going to uh, show you what happens when you do it wrong again. Put lard in bowl, which is actually the fourth step. You scrape the lard into the mixing bowl. A strange feeling comes over you. You wonder if you could have made a mistake. I guess we're invisible now. Gwydion! Oh, Gwydion! What Gwydion? Where? Well, this is gonna make shaving really, really difficult, isn't it? Right, actual second step is squeeze cactus juice on spoon. Oh. Fortunately, it doesn't punish you for spelling mistakes. At least not here, it does during the incantation, as we've seen several times in the previous video. Grabbing one of the measuring spoons from the oaken table, you grasp the slit cactus in your hand and squeeze it until you have a spoonful of cactus juice. The small cactus is now quite devoid of liquid now, so you toss it away. I guess we don't need it anymore. Put cactus juice in bowl. You carefully add the spoonful of cactus juice to the bowl. Put lard in bowl. You scrape the lard into the mixing bowl and keep the now empty jar nearby to store your finished formula. Um, no. Add two drops of toad spittle. You cautiously pour the two drops of toad spittle into the bowl. And I'm going to save, because this is the last step once again. You cannot save while the uh, incantation screen is up. Stir mixture with spoon. Using one of the stirrers lying on the table, you mix the lard, cactus juice and toad spittle until it is smooth and blended. Okay, let's see if I can get this one right in once. Cactus planned and horny... <laughs> That's not quite the right meaning of horny. Uh, horny toad. I now start down a dangerous road. Combine with fire and mist to make... Me disappear without a trace. That doesn't rhyme. 
Wave magic wand. You may wave the magic wand. Put ointment in empty lard jar. You scoop the invisibility ointment out of the clay bowl and return it to the lard jar. Successfully completing the spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. Good! That's all of the spells! That means we have, um, well, about two and a half minutes to cover up our tracks before the wizard comes home, which should be plenty of time. And fortunately, we'll soon be rid of the wizard altogether, in which case we don't need to bother with any of this anymore. But since we already finished all the spells, we don't need to go back down there anyway. Um, pull lever. The trapdoor grown shot, disappearing into the floorboards. Move book. You move the big book back where you found it, so it again conceals the metal lever. You don't want the old wizard to grow suspicious of your activities. Indeed we don't. So close to our victory would be a shame. You unlock the oaken cabinet using the brass key. You carefully replace the magic wand exactly as you found it. After closing the door, you carefully relock it. Okay, next step is, of course, to hide all of our junk, same as we did last time. Oh, there's actually fun here. Um, okay, cat. Wait till I catch you in the steps, you creep! Now that we have the understanding the language of, uh, of animal spell, we can hear what it says. <laughs> Instead of just it's screeching, we know what it says. Well, you won't have any chance to trip us up on the steps anymore, because we're not going back down the uh, to the laboratory again. Um. Okay. Um. We need to get rid of all of the stuff um, that has a star, and uh, of course, again, we're going to uh, drop um, items. You get on your hands and knees and quickly shove all your possessions under the bed. They will be safe from the wizard's sharp eyes there. Okay, now let's get the cookie back. Dropping to your knees, you reach under the bed and retrieve it. However, um, oh, we still have the dough in airs, which I guess we cannot get rid of. That's part of the understanding the language of Krisha's spell. But we just took the cat cookie back, but it has a star, which means that if the wizard wakes up now, he'll kill us before we get a chance to feed it to him. So how can we disguise the cat cookie in some kind of form that um, the wizard would be willing to eat it? Well, uh, we had several other food items, like the ham and, um, and the bread. I think we already fed him the bread, didn't we? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the only food item we had that serves this purpose is the porridge we got from the um, ho house of the three bears. So let's get the porridge. Dropping to your knees, you reach under the bed and retrieve it. And crumble that cookie into the porridge. The porridge conceals the crumbled cookie. It still looks as appetizing as ever. And we have poisoned porridge, which um, the wizard will not be able to recognize as a magical item. Therefore, we will be quite safe. Now, all we need to do is wait for uh, about 40 seconds until the wizard wakes up. Um, can we wake him up prematurely? <laughs> there he is, sleeping. Wake up! Kill... Wizard, your own death would result from that. He's too powerful for you. Hit, wizard. <laughs> Ch 
choke wizard. Can we force feed him the cookie? I don't think he likes it if we're in the room while he's sleeping. Unfortunately, no way to kill him while he's sleeping. I guess if that were possible, Gwydion would have done it a long time ago. Let's just go back to the hole and wait. Should be pretty soon. Unless it, ah, there we go. Gwydion, I have awakened. Yes, we've noticed. I am ravenous. Fix me something immediately. It's very predictable that way. He's always hungry when he comes back or wakes up or whatever. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. Indeed. Um... Give porridge to wizard. You place the food on the dining table before the hungry wizard. Ravenously, he devours every bit of it. I just realized we haven't actually done all the spells. There's one spell where we didn't have all the ingredients yet. Anyway. Doesn't really look like he's eating ravenously. He's eating quite slowly, actually. Unknowingly, though, he is eating our poisoned cookie! And he's going to turn into a cat forever, and we'll be free. You fooled him. Mananan didn't realize the porridge was tainted and ate the whole bowl. Congratulations! Mananan will never again enslave you or the people of Luder. At last, you're free! And for those of you expecting that that would be the end of the game, well, no, because we still have quite a lot of points left. And there are several spells we haven't used, and one spell we haven't even done yet, like I just said. Mananan will never annoy anyone again. Well, I'm not so sure about that, to be honest. But then I have played the other games. You'd better get on with your quest. Mananan is no longer a bother to anyone. Let's hope you won't be missed by any family members or something. Of course, the question is, now what? I mean, we've finished our goal. We've defeated the wizard Mananan, so what do we do now? Take his place? Become ruler of Ludor? Ha ha ha! No. This is a still a Sierra game. Where you're usually not the bad guy. So what else can we do? Well, there's still uh, one spell uh, we haven't done. We're still missing one ingredient. There's a couple of things down in uh, Looter that we haven't checked out yet, and of course, with Mananan uh, taken care of, we are now free to check them out at our leisure without having to watch the time anymore. But we'll see what else we can do in the next video.